Uber over to Copenhagen. Got a really early morning flight uh, over here, and then it was only about a 15 minute train journey from the airport to the city center. And from there, our hotel is right next to the station. And um, so is Tivoli, which is where we've come. It's such a gorgeous amusement park. We are absolutely mesmerized by it. And so happy to be spending New Year's Eve here. We've just stopped by for a little coffee and cake in a cute cafe and um, I've been on quite a few rides already so we're gonna go and explore more of the park. Just huge, isn't it? It's absolutely it's massive, massive, and there's just so many nooks and crannies with loads of little nice activities. We thought we could get some privacy walking this route because there was nobody around, but there are people that have followed us, <laughs> and I'm not great at filming myself in public, as I don't think many people would be. But now I have a difficult decision to make because last night I pulled an all nighter, and I'm not in the slightest bit tired. Shane's off for a nap. So do I go with him or do I stay? What do you reckon I should do? I don't know, it's a tough one. It's awfully cold, are you gonna be warm enough when the sun goes That's down? That's what I'm thinking, but I'm thinking since it's New Year's Eve, I have to stay awake until midnight. You're gonna which get might colder. be tough. Yeah. Very true. I'm excited to come back in the evening though and see everything in the evening with all of the lights lit up and I think it will just be magical. It'd be nice to just see it all rather than the gradual change. Yeah, agreed. So I think I'm going to head back, get a nap. We've just entered our room and it's really sweet. It's got a little wardrobe. It's got a very um, vintage vibe, kind of almost 70s. Nice little table, bathroom through here. It's pretty much a shower room, but we're only staying here for two nights and I really like the view. It's really sweet. I've just noticed we've got little red amenities in the hotel room, which is super nice. So as I've said, we are going to get a nap so that we feel good for the evening and greet the new year in high spirits. But I'm just too excited to sleep. I love all of the rides 
and I'm excited to eat there. I was going to make a reservation for one of the nicer restaurants in there. But then we kind of thought, is it really worth it? Um, because we can go back tomorrow for the price of even one person eating yeah. there. Not fussed about having it in in the format that's going to cost yeah. £100 per person. Even over that. I actually prefer some of the options that are available. They look so good. Yeah, they? in the food hall and generally in stalls around. So I need to stop nattering. And... I'll see you in the next day. Hey, so we've had our nap. We're feeling very much refreshed, but starving. So we've just gotten ready and we're gonna go out there, get some food. Um, I can hear fireworks already. I've been hearing them for the past hour. No, we've yeah. got time. Tivoli fireworks start at 11. I know, I know. But I just mean fireworks have been going off all night. I'm so excited to go back there. It might be worth mentioning as well we are our hotel's right next to the train station so we've been hearing really loud trains go past but sometimes it, it literally sounds like a train crashes periodically <laughs> and I, I don't think it's a random firework going off because it's too periodic but I, just, I can't imagine what those loud noises we're constantly hearing maybe it's hear from it? the train station no if i'm honest yeah, no i've been heavy hearing... sleeper <laughs> no i've been hearing fireworks anyway we're gonna go out there and see Tivoli at night. I'm really glad that we got to see it by day and by night. Yeah. Even though we're planning on going back tomorrow. <laughs> I'm wearing some glitzy fringe tonight. I feel like this is a very Copenhagen weather appropriate um, New Year's Eve outfit. Oh, sorry. I'm just you. <laughs> go on. What does it go with? <laughs> it goes with these lovely no, lower bands. No? No, the Christmas tree. Oh, the Swarovski Christmas tree. Yeah, they go really well together, oh, don't they? Oh, I see. The Swarovski's tree inside Tivoli. I thought you meant these. I mean, it does go with these mermaid earrings. Um, but your top goes really well with the tree, doesn't it? Hope so. Very Copenhagen, weather appropriate. New Year's Eve outfit. And I'm wearing it with these. Uh, oh, it got tangled in my hair. These Luove mermaid earrings, which I thought were very, very fitting. Shane got me these in Barcelona for my birthday, so great memories. I'm excited to go there and enjoy the night. We are stuck in our hotel room. Oh, how'd you open it? Luck. Really? <laughs> Pure luck. <laughs> luck. Let's go. You can see one of the rides right outside the entrance of our hotel, right by the station. even beautiful, even more beautiful at night time.
I love it. I'm fun. I, I enjoy eating around. you more than anything. No, they say you do. I'm trying to find a ride to go on, but I'm afraid a lot of them have closed, which makes me even more excited for tomorrow and I'm glad we're coming back. It's very tasty. You had a taste? Yeah. That was really good. Mm. Pops in for a little drink. Huh? Pops no, no, in for a little. but I'm trying to work out what it tastes of. It's really nice. Like you Cider? Cider. I think it tastes like um, elderflower cordial. Isn't that like saying they're like, nice, it tastes like juice? Juice. But cider is a bit like juice. The clock's at like to our hotel room after greeting the new year and it was so wonderful they had a fireworks display at Tivoli Gardens um, which I filmed a bit of and kind of mentioned how incredible it was which it really was it was at 11 o'clock um, which is quite strange I think the aim was to set the scene for New Year's Eve but it kind of was the main attraction um, I'm going to film Shane's 7-Eleven buys because he bought a really interesting looking skier. That looks really interesting. Much nicer looking than the ones in the UK. I think this is pistachio, kiwi, coconut, passion fruit and blueberries but I just ate two because I couldn't wait. <laughs> How is it? It's, it's really nice from the first bite. Give us a live it's reaction. Look at that colour. It's It is incredible. And it's got um, spirulina inside it which i believe is what gives it the blue color Tastes might be blue. wrong though i'm jealous Bye. i will do in a minute i got um oh, i've lost them i've lost them but i got two protein bars which are also really cool and um i'm gonna be snacking on these which my mother bought for her yeah <laughs> she knows me well she knows me well i love wine gums so that has been our new year's eve i could not be happier with it it was such an amazing way uh, to greet the new year it's been amazing and we've got two more days here and we've decided to come back to Sibley because most things are closed um in copenhagen anyway and we have actually been to all of the attractions um in copenhagen before so it kind of makes sense to go to Sibley because that's the only thing that we haven't been to Finishing the night off watching um, the UK's New Year's Eve display. I've just spoken to my parents and wish them a happy new year. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very poor timing. Good morning. It is Copenhagen day two and it is New Year's Day. So happy new year. Because I think most things are closed on New Year's Day in Copenhagen, we are going to head to Tivoli today. And also we've got to fit in some revision um, for our upcoming exams. So that'll be a really nice mix of Tivoli and kind of popping into cafes and doing bits like that um but for now we are going to head to our favorite little cafe our favorite little breakfast spot in copenhagen and that's next door cafe so we're gonna go and get some breakfast and fuel up for the day had such a wonderful little breakfast it was so nice being back there and now we're having a little explore of the streets before we head to Tivoli it's so quiet expectedly so I'm guessing everyone's nursing their hangovers we're 
starting the day off with my favourite ride. Just the one just behind me. It's gonna come down any minute now. Fire, just the one that okay. goes really high. Like? Oh, it was incredible! I saw everything. I saw Did Ron Tower. The... Oh, that's such a nice thing. Yeah. Did you spot the Parliament building as well? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you I'm guessing see everything. I'm guessing next to the Parliament building, because we, we wasn't exactly sure which one it was from where we were standing earlier. Yeah. But one is probably the palace. Yes, um, I believe the one with the Danish flags is the Parliament building. Yeah. Um, the view is really good. And then um, did you I see went... the church with the? It's got like a black and gold top. It's quite far away. It's near. Frequent I remember it's the one that we couldn't get into because yeah. it was closed. Um, I'm not sure if I'm honest. Mm. I believe so. I'm got to that because it looks really slow, and I thought I'd be able to take my phone on there. It was really slow, but we couldn't take anything. They made us completely empty out pockets. Like yeah, it is good for safety for people. Yeah, but yeah. Did you see the botanical gardens? No. no. I didn't look after them, to be fair. I was just taking in the view that I could see. Yeah. And it was really, really good. Gorgeous. I got really excited seeing Run Tower. So. And then um, I went on the, the one that we talked about yesterday being really bad for motion sickness. It's like oh, the, the clock. Yeah. Yeah, it's I remember. Tic -tac. It's like, I forgot what they call them in the UK. They, they call that? I'm not sure that it was really good. It's a really different feeling from, from not really, but uh, it is slightly sickening, but not really motion sickness. I mean, you get spun in every direct. It's like it's like how they test astronauts. For yes, yes, and acceleration. yes, it is. Um, it was a really weird sensation because you feel like you're going to bump into other people, but you don't. They really well designed the and ride. And you do so spin a all the way around. around yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and then you have a little compass inside, which tells you which angle you're at. At every point, it moves around. It's so cool. Quite These little details. Yeah, like for sure. I couldn't really see the compass when I was spinning because I feel like my head was two days, but it's a nice touch. And then I went on the roller coaster. The uh, demon Chinese themed. So you've not been on the blue one yet, the mountain one. I did go on the mountain. I went on the mountain as well. Oh. Yeah, I went on How the mountain. How was that? Because I think like you'll really enjoy that. Views as well. No, it's not really darkness. Dark. I think we're talking about different mountains. No, no, yeah, no that's why it's been good. We are heading to the aquarium now, which we've not seen yet. at all and steals a tinderbox. Then falls in love with a princess and causes great trouble, helped by three big dogs, but gets to be king. Go! 
Gossip, gossip. One loose little feather may easily grow into five dead heads. There's no doubt about it. Yes, the chickens tell the owls, and the owls tell the doves, and the doves tell the bats. And so much stories. When a top loves a ball, and she thinks she's too fine, and bounces too high, you know she'll come to a sad end. I help Stumpelina sail away, away from Mother Toad and her ugly son. Many adventures lie ahead. I know this because my friend the Swallow sang to me the fast tin soldier. This handsome tin soldier loved a ballerina. While the other toys played, he only looked at her. The ducks and chickens bullied and bit him and called him ugly until he flew away. All through the autumn. How wonderful is this? That's Christian Addison, right? Magical. A friendly crow gave advice. The swift reindeer carried her northward as she searched by through the night in a magical flying truck. Just as the Chips. The place we Either went one. to? Yeah. It wasn't chips. Um, and afterwards we went to Kick Bargain for some dessert. Um, and I had the traditional marzipan wreath cake that Danes eat on New Year's Eve, I believe. And also a glass of um, sparkling tea, which was non alcoholic, but absolutely delicious. Um, and now we are sitting in a cafe doing some mini work. Um, I went on a couple more rides and um, yes, now we're just um, getting on some work. Um, and we've got a beautiful view outside, so it's not that bad. I'd rather be studying here than back home. What about you? Yeah, it's really Great. nice. The atmosphere is lovely and the interior design is amazing. Maybe you could show them some of the famous lampshades they yeah, make here. Yeah, hopefully have a bit more of an explore before we leave. Good evening. So it's the end of day two in Copenhagen. We spent the whole day in Tivoli and as you would have seen, I went on a bunch of rides. Um, whilst Shane was doing a bit more studying in a cafe, I went on more rides. Um, did about six, I want to say, and they were all so much fun. I was a bit like Billy No Mates on the rides, but it really doesn't matter. A lot of people did actually go by themselves um, regardless. If you're with a partner or friends who don't want to join you on the rides, it makes complete sense. So that was no issue whatsoever and it was so much fun. My favourite ride was by far the um, Hans Christian Andersen themed one. It wasn't much of a ride if you're an adrenaline junkie. It's not anything exciting, but um, it was really beautiful. It was absolutely stunning and all of the stories were really really sweet and so well decorated so I really really enjoyed that one although the adrenaline junkie in me really loved that um airplane ride what was it called vertigo um I really really enjoyed it 
it was insane it's nothing like i felt before a lot of the rides are so unique and you can tell how much time and effort has gone into um into the park itself but also the rides they are completely different and in a whole new realm of theme park rides it's crazy but yes um we have got some mcdonald's so we're gonna finish the night um with a few snacks and i'll see you tomorrow good morning it is our final day in copenhagen copenhagen day three and we are just on our way to breakfast we are heading to a really sweet little cafe that looks a bit like a library and I'm really excited and afterwards I think we'll do a bit more exploring. just had a really wonderful breakfast highly highly recommend the little cafe that we went to it was absolutely stunning and we've just walked past one tower which we have been to before a previous visit and we are on our way to Nyhaven if I'm pronouncing that correctly I still have not googled how to pronounce that correctly even though my guess second is, time there my guess is Nyhaven Nyhaven I think it's Nyhaven who knows um but we have also been there before but we wanted to give it a visit because it's probably the most iconic location in copenhagen so we'll see how much has changed as lively as I remember it and it's <laughs> Shane is holding his hand oh that would show you you're scared because <laughs> I'm holding you above the water I'm a bit scared now actually <laughs> So we saw this in the distance and we thought it would be the paper mill where there is a food hall and we got lots of yummy food last time but it turns out it's not so
that was such a lovely little pit stop for some coffee and I ordered a waffle with my coffee and I was expecting a tiny little fruit waffle and I got a huge big waffle. Two? Two in fact, with yeah. On top and and chocolate, chocolate syrup. And powdered sugar. on the street we have spotted three teslas which shane is loving because you're obsessed with teslas aren't you I specifically am. elon musk Palace, I was about to call it castle. It's a palace. <laughs> Last time we saw the changing of the guards here, didn't we? Yeah. Well, we never actually went here before. We went to a different place. Did we? Yeah. Maybe we're. Mm, I don't remember. Do you remember in the Garfield movie where he tries to make one of the guards in London laugh? I can't say I do. No. But, uh, <laughs> That's cute. I know. It is so cold. I'm all bundled up. Where are we off to next? Well, we're going to look at this interesting building in front of us. <laughs> Just had a look at the marble church, which is right next to the palace, and it was beautiful. And now, we are heading to explore some more. So Shane and I have developed a tradition of going round the really nice design stores in cities that we visit, which is what we're currently doing, just window shopping around. And eyeing up this bag for a while. around the shops and then we went to the big department store um illum um yet again mispronouncing that probably and um we sat in a coffee shop inside there and did a bit more work because that's the reality of um going on holiday in your master's year right before january exams but now we're heading back to the hotel to collect our luggage and head to the airport in the department store earlier i picked up this tea which is really gorgeous packaging and it's some white tea which i love and then i also picked up some of this tea um which is just some green tea and i love mermaids so this packaging was a definite must so what's been the highlight of the trip for you for me the highlight of the trip was the tivoli christmas tree not the swarovski tree but the the one with the train yeah, the, the, the one with the around. lovely trains that was going around. Overall, my favourite thing was just the effort they had put into decorating the park. Oh, there was there was at least hundreds of Christmas trees. They had pruned them so they looked more, I guess, Christmas tree and festive like. And it was just the attention to detail in all the decorations everywhere across the park were amazing. Yeah, I agree. The highlight for me was seeing all of the fireworks. Um, just before New Year's Eve. It was on New Year's Eve, but right before the clock 
struck midnight um, at around 11 o'clock. Those fireworks were insane. I've never experienced anything like this, and I feel like I've experienced some great fireworks in my lifetime. But those fireworks were something else. Just it to me, it felt like watching a 3D film. Do you see what I mean? When no, you mean? when the fireworks come right at you, um, but in a really magical sense, definitely not in a frightening manner at all and yes and i also love the hans christian Hansen ride in terms of oh, I thought, magical that's I that's what tivoli is it's it's a magical place magic. if yeah. you if you just went there as a thrill seeker i, I don't think you'd have very much fun but if no. you if you like a magical like experience and an adventure then i think it's the best place you could go yeah i agree it's been a great trip hasn't it amazing oh and the book shop cafe it wasn't it was a bookshop actually, it's not incorrect to look at that. I don't think they sold books. They did sell books downstairs. Oh. Oh. That was great. That was an amazing start to the morning. Besides other things. Really good breakfast. <laughs> like I said, it's really bittersweet leaving um, Copenhagen. But um, hopefully we can come back and enjoy it. And this trip has been magical.